First of all, let me tell you what this memo is and what this memo is not. What this memo is, is Congress doing its job in conducting legitimate oversight over a very unique law, FISA. And if mistakes were made and if individuals did something wrong, then it is our job as the legislative branch of government to conduct oversight over the executive branch if abuses were made. Remember, FISA is a unique situation which involves Americans' civil liberties. And if American civil liberties were, were abused, then that needs to come to light so that that doesn't happen again. What this is not is an indictment on our institutions of our justice system. This memo is not an indictment of the FBI, of the Department of Justice. Uh, it does not impugn uh, the Mueller investigation or the Deputy Attorney General. What it is is the Congress's legitimate function of oversight to make sure that the FISA process is being used correctly and that if it wasn't being used correctly, that needs to come to light and people need to be held accountable so that we do not have problems in the, in, again because this does affect our civil liberties. Carrie. I think they're just playing politics, and I think they're looking for a political distraction is what I get out of that. Look, the, the tax cuts are working. Tax reform is working. Uh, we're, we've got ISIS on the run. Things are going well. Economic confidence, as I said, is at a 17-year high. I think they would love nothing more than to play politics and change the subject. Uh, Devin Nunes helped shepherd through a reauthorization of 702, which is the foreign terrorist foreign surveillance law. So he's focusing on keeping our country safe, focus on national security. I think what they're trying to do is just sidetrack us with some political game. <laughs> it's important that we scrub these memos for any sources and methods that could reveal national security or compromise national security. That scrubbing has taken place. Um, in consultation with the FBI, they made a change to, to register those concerns and then they voted on releasing them out to, um, to the White House. So uh, the process is exactly what it should have been. Scrub to make sure that there are no sources and methods being revealed. When a matter was brought to the attention of the committee, they addressed that matter, and then they went through the committee process. Now, what, gives, what concerns me is if we are violating American civil liberties. You have to remember, this FISA law is a very unique law. The FISA law, I'm talking about Title I of FISA. There's been some confusion about different titles in this law. This law allows the government to go to a secret court to get a wiretap on a citizen. So this is incredible power that the people of this country, through Congress, has given our executive branch of government. So we have to make sure that this power is being exercised properly and judiciously. And if there are institutions, or excuse me, if there are instances or individuals who have abused that power, it is our job in Congress to shed light on that, bring transparency and accountability to the process. Let me just say, um, the, the vast, vast, vast majority of the men and women of the FBI are doing a great job. These institutions, the Department of Justice, the FBI, very important institutions for the rule of law, but it's also very important that we guard people's civil liberties as we exercise these institutions. Like I said to you on Tuesday, the, the men and women over at the Milwaukee office, you know, at the, at the field office and the FBI, they're the ones who are helping keep the opioids out of our schools. So these men and women are doing a fantastic job, but we also have to make sure that if there are certain individuals who did the wrong thing, who either brought bias or cut corners or did something wrong that implicates an American civil liberties, it is our job as congressional overseers to bring people to account so that it doesn't happen again. Molly. Yes. Uh, Senator McConnell. Senator McConnell, have you seen the memo? And secondly, do you agree with Senator Coons that the Senate Intelligence Committee No, I haven't, and I I don't have any um, suggestions to make to the speaker. I think he's handling this just right. Last question. PCM. What, what I'm trying to say is people should not draw, draw lines. People should not implicate. Well, that's what I'm suggesting. People should not be drawing lines. People should not be implicating um, independent issues. 
This does not implicate the Mueller investigation. This does not implicate the DAG. This is about us holding the system accountable and reviewing whether or not FISA abuses occur. The government has been given extraordinary power over citizens' civil liberties. It is our job to make sure that the process is followed properly. And if it's not followed properly, then we need accountability. I say let all of it out so long as we're not involving sources and methods. So long as we're not revealing sources and methods to protect our national security, the more transparency, the better, so that the people of this country can see that their civil liberties are being protected, that the Constitution is being followed. That's why we think sunshine, transparency, and accountability is the correct antidote for this. And that is why the legislative branch of government, this duly elected branch of government, conducts its oversight over the executive branch of government. Thank you very much.